Hi, in this tutorial I want to show you how to work in Logic's environment with the focus on the mapped instrument. Open an empty project and create three software instrument tracks. Choose from the Logic menu Window Environment to open the window. The environment refers to the virtual environment of Logic inside your computer. It was developed to allow complete control over your MIDI setup. In the left corner you can choose different layers. The All Object layer shows all objects in your project, like the MIDI click metronome, the physical input, and down here the three software instrument tracks that we have created in the range. If you double click the element, Logic will take you to another layer and selects the object that you double clicked. Here you can see that Logic switched to the mixer layer and selected the software instrument 1. So the All Objects layer contains all objects of your environment. The other layer gives you a different view on a specific part of your environment. Let's go back and double click the physical input. Logic takes us to the Clicks and Ports layer and here you see the physical input again. It's selected. But you see also the connections between the elements in the environment. I can take the connections away and I can connect elements. Let's take them all away. Click hold the cable, move and drop the connection to where it comes from to disconnect the elements. The physical input displays all physical and virtual MIDI devices that are connected to your computer. Here you see my CME master keyboard that is connected via USB to my computer. But you see the caps lock keyboard too, which is a virtual MIDI device that allows you to use the Apple keyboard to create MIDI notes. Let's toggle the caps lock to open it. Now you see how I press the A key, the S key and the V key on the Apple keyboard. By pressing it I create MIDI notes, but we don't see or hear anything, because there ain't any connections to other elements in the environment. Let's connect the caps lock with the input notes object. Now you can see the MIDI notes that I create. I'm pressing the A key and the input notes object shows that I'm creating the note C2. Let's connect the input view to see more details. Now we see that I created two MIDI events while toggling the A key on the Apple keyboard. Note on with the velocity of 98 when I'm pressing the key and note off with the velocity of 0 when I release the key. Let's make a connection to the sequencer input, which means that the created MIDI events go to the logic sequencer. We still don't hear anything. So let's switch to the Arrange window to see what's going on. The transport displays the same like the view object in the environment. Just make sure that the MIDI activity is switched on when you customize your transport view. We don't hear anything because no software instrument is loaded to the selected track in the Arrange. Let's load an instrument. Now we hear something. If we select an unloaded software instrument track, we don't hear anything again. And this shows us that the incoming MIDI events are routed to the selected track in the range. In the mixer layer, you see the three created software instruments and some objects that Logic creates with every project. Like the stereo output object, which is by the way also important when you have issues with the signal routing because if the outputs of the software instrument tracks are not assigned to an output, you will not hear anything. Ok, let's put the focus now on the mapped instrument, the reason why I explained some basics of the environment. Close the caps lock keyboard and choose New Mapped Instrument from the Environment menu. The settings of the mapped instrument open with a double click on the object. And as you see, the keys are named and follow the general MIDI drum map. Let's create three monitors and connect the mapped instrument to them. Choose New Monitor from the Environment menu and copy the object with holding the Option key. Press Escape and choose the Text tool and name them as 1, 2 and 3.
Use for each monitor one cable. Connect every monitor to a software instrument. Load to every instrument the EXS24 with the 70s kit. Let's add the mapped instrument to the range window. Click on the plus button in the range. Choose to create an external MIDI track and to open the library. Choose the mapped instrument out of the library. Let's open the caps lock keyboard again and create some MIDI notes. You see that all MIDI notes go through the first cable to software instrument 1. Let's press the 4 key on the Apple keyboard to set the caps lock keyboard one octave down. Now you will create C1 notes when you press the A key. Let's open the settings of the mapped instrument. By pressing the A key logic will automatically select the settings for the assigned MIDI note. If you hit other keys you see how it changes. Let's take a closer look to the settings you can do in the mapped instrument. With the output node you can transform incoming notes from C1 to A1 for example. With velocity settings you change the incoming velocity. With channel you set the MIDI channel for the output node. And with cable you say through which of the 16 cables the output node should leave the mapped instrument. So let's change the settings for D1 on cable 2. And for F sharp 1 to cable 3. Now you see that the MIDI data for C1 goes to software instrument 1. The MIDI data for D1 goes to instrument 2. And the MIDI data for F sharp 1 goes to instrument 3. Let's go to the range and record something. Adjust or quantize it. When you are done, move the region to instrument 2 and 3. You hear always one track and the same sound because the same kit is loaded to every track. If you move the region to the mapped instrument, you see that all tracks play. Now you can change the kit of instrument 2 to choose another snare, or change the kit of instrument 3 to hear a different hi-hat. This makes things very flexible because now you can change sounds fast without any settings in the EXS instrument editor. So that's the basic concept for the mapped instrument. With the mapped instrument you can play more than one software instrument. Get in touch with it and watch the next video.